Glory to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God for you. And I pray that let God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to talk a little bit on kingdom spouse. I want to talk about this, this relationship aspect. This aspect of you walking with the right person. And being satisfied where you are. You know, one thing when we look at the aspect of kingdom marriage, you know, most of the time we are, you, you could only be thinking that I minister just to those who want to get married. There are people who are in marriages that are wishing to quit. They are waiting on God's instruction if to stay or to walk away because they don't understand what is happening. I want to say that even if you're considering walking away, remember your mission. The question you should ask yourself is, is your mission done in that marriage? Should you walk away? And these are some of the things that if we can look at them before we, if we can look at them before we get married, there'll be a lot of adjustment. Have you bother asking yourself why do you want to get married? Why do you need to be married? And how are you supposed to go about it? And what are the things you should consider in a life you should expect from the partner you want to settle down with for the rest of your life? Let's look at um, a, a, a time frame you want to live with someone. Let me just do a rough calculate let's just assume 150 years or 120 years on earth with the person are you sure that with the with with your motive the way it is you can live with somebody for the next 120 years and won't bother you adding the age you already you you, you already are in now 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 the question is what are you supposed to expect and what is expected of you you know there's this common saying that what can you bring on the table it doesn't the language is the, the, the that that statement is not only for for financial contribution it is not just for financial contribution yes can you forgive can you forgive yes so one of the things you look at from someone you want to live with let me just go straight to that is that you 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 have to consider the fact that this person not that this person it's your friend you have to see that there is something called compatibility there is compatibility we looked at it from the spiritual perspective and we look at it from the physical perspective even if you would just want to be in a relationship maybe you just want to be friends with a with a man or with a woman you want to be friends with somebody somebody's approaching you and wants to be your friend casual friend maybe just want to be a friend and somebody who hang around the first thing to accommodate that person is to find compatibility i don't know compatibility now speaks of we are not talking of compatibility in a sense that has to do with you okay saying that if you hate if you hate snails the person should hate snails if the person hates um, um, alcohol you should hate alcohol no that's not what we are looking at we are looking at the aspect of what is it that God has given you to carry? Can the, pers can the person join you in carrying that vision that God has given you in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. So when you begin to interpret your kingdom spouse and your relationship in this kind of journey, in this mind, you can, you, 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 you can be open for better impact. Compatibility is not saying that the person you love smoking, so the person should love smoking. Oh, I can't function with this person because the person doesn't love smoking. Okay, I I, I go to church um, six times a day. I want to see that the person goes to church six times a day. And so I want, I'm looking for just somebody who goes to church. No, the first thing you should look at, the person, compatibility starts from the point of, there is a vision you carry, that that vision you carry, my vision is to support someone who carries this kind of vision meeting you the first thing i'm attracted to you is that there is a vision you carry that pulls my attention i can i don't know how to walk away from people who carry this kind of vision but the difference with you is that you are not just going to be a friend you are going to be helping me to understand that vision as well then on the other part you also understand that this person can stand with you in belief because in this world Having people who can support what you believe in is a different currency on its own. There are many, see, there, see, there are many um, um, different supporting systems to make vision work. Which I don't want to touch the natural things. I'm trying to avoid the things you already know, like the expectations you have in your mind. Okay, the man has to be a prayer warrior. Already you know that he has to be a God-fearing person. He should drift away from the things of the world and love the things of God. I can't say that you know, you know that already. So I stress on the things that you probably, you are not looking at that direction. There are people who have become a burden to the same vision you have. Yes, and I pray that that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. God bless you.